It is Friday, November 11th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Friday puzzle today, so a themeless puzzle. And as quite a few people have pointed out, and I would agree, it's been a relatively easy week of crosswords so far. So I don't know if that, <laughs> often when that happens, it means we're in store for something particularly tricky once we get to the themeless uh, couplet of crosswords, which we have now reached. So we'll just have to see. Uh, this potentially uh, very tricky edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Henrik Koskinen, David Innes, and, as always, the inestimable bullhead monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for directly supporting this channel. Uh, I do very much appreciate that generous support, and it keeps this whole thing going. So thank you to them. If you'd like to become a benefactor and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve or in a link in the description field underneath the video, of course, where you can also become a patron at any level and get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And those include <laughs> this week's disastrous boss words competition puzzle solve. I really did not equip myself well in, in that performance. Uh, so if, you, if you'd like to see me solve a tough competition puzzle pretty quickly, watch last week's <laughs> Patreon um, boss words video. And if you'd like to see something that is very much not that, then maybe consider watching this week's. Although I can't say I'm thrilled about encouraging people towards that video. But anyway, it's there. It's there. And uh, if you are a patron, you deserve, uh, you've, you've paid for it. So, so that's, uh, that's your right. Okay. And uh, thank you to everybody who is a patron, by the way, at any level. It does mean a lot. Um, do subscribe to the channel. Do join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. We've got some, ni some nice spate of new uh, signups to the, the Discord recently, which is nice. And there's a link in the description field underneath the video. And with that, I'm going to start solving this puzzle. So... Let's just, let me find my, my button here. Okay, let's go. Oh no, sorry. This puzzle was constructed by Brooke, Brooke Husick and Eric Agard. It's a Friday puzzle, of course, a Friday themeless puzzle constructed by Brooke Husick and Eric Agard. Brooke Husick, around a dozen puzzles, I think. And Eric Agard, very accomplished constructor with several dozen to his name. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So with that, being said, whew, what a relief. <laughs> let's, um, let's, let's start solving. Okay. Launch party. I wonder if it's NASA. In other words, a party, an organization in this case, that launches things. Chamber oriented so that those who face it also face Jerusalem. I'm not sure. Higher bet. A call or something? I don't know. Let's, let's keep looking around. Horrify, appall, or something like that. Blank school, prep school, I don't know, in four letters, I'm trying to think. Um, reddish brown. And Muppet known for singing duets with Sesame Street guests. Elmo, probably? Um, maybe this is prep school. That's funny if that was my, if my first guess was correct. Easter confection. A peep, maybe? Those are those little commercially produced sort of, what are they, kind of marshmallow things coated in something are awesome if they are awesome you could say they rule so that that could be the answer and reddish brown could be rust yeah there we go write her this looks like esme wei jun wang um i don't think i'm familiar with that writer but the, but that's that's a name that fits in the in the crosses so i suspect it's correct event for journal journalists informally oppressor Sometimes people refer to press conferences as pressers. Let's try it and see. Breaking point. Uh, a full stop? Yeah, I think so. Because a full stop, which in US English you'd refer to as a period, um, breaks up. It's the break point at the end of a sentence. I think that's I think that's plausible. That's a nice, clever, punny clue. And of course, the question mark does let us know that there's a bit of a pun going on. Okay, entice. Well, I was going to say lore, but that doesn't really fit. Um, creamy South Asian drink. What is a creamy South Asian Asian drink? I mean, a lossy, arguably, but that doesn't uh, doesn't fit. 
Oh, unless it's, unless it's a rest stop. So off of a motorway, for instance, that's possible. Let's just try it and see. Horrify, oh, right, why did I say this wasn't a Paul? Didn't, did I, didn't I roll that out? Why did I do that? That was strange. Maybe I, <laughs> was it something else I said? Odd. Um, okay, the Sixers on scoreboards, not sure. Oh, is that the Philadelphia 76ers, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. What about this? Popular paper flower variety, a dahlia? Looks like it fits. I'm not, I wasn't aware that was specifically popular when it comes to paper flowers, but uh, it's a type of flower and it fit the crosses. Pop bottles, perhaps. Liters of soda, I think. That's what this is referring to. And Alfred Pennyworth, Bruce Wayne's loyal butler in the sort of world of Batman. Doesn't stay in any one place too long. A drift, drifter, drifts, doesn't stay in one in any one place too long. And Ethiopia's capital informally would be Addis Ababa. Well, so informally would be Addis, um, as in Addis Ababa. Okay, what jigsaw puzzle pieces do? They fit. That is sort of definitionally what they need to do to qualify as what they're called. Wild ride. Wild ride. What is that? I'm not sure. Hmm. Set of books that may have an invented language that may have. What on earth does that mean? They may have an invented language. So diaries, it doesn't fit because of Alfred. What about this? Entice, oh, tempt, right, sorry. That was ridiculous. Um, oh, maybe a fantasy series. Oh, right, okay, sure. Yeah, you could imagine a fantasy series having an invented language within it on the part of some of the sort of, you know, fantastical creatures depicted. So that's, uh, yeah, okay, very good. <laughs> pleased, perfectly pleased with that. Adherent, and, and it's funny because this is in one of the spaces that you'd expect to see a theme in a themed puzzle, but of course this is a Friday puzzle, so it is not themed. So sort of in the back of my mind, I was wondering if I should be thinking about it from that standpoint, but I don't think so. One heart, two hearts, three hearts, e.g. Um... Odds? Is that odds somehow? I don't, I'm not sure what this is. Hmm. Adherent to the five Ks. Adherent to the five Ks. Is it? Hmm. I'm not sure. Puffin for one. Puffin. Bird, obviously. Um... I'm not sure. Let's keep going. I'm sort of hitting a wall here. Let's keep going around. Chef's creation. A chef at a restaurant might create the menu. And uh, wraps that might have sauce on them. Wraps that might have sauce. This, this reads like a pun to me. Um, blended style of facial makeup. Okay, I'm going to delete this out because I'm just not sure. But have we not looked at all these? I don't know that we have. They oh, are awesome, right? So it's our counterpart to rule. Um, I'm not sure offhand. Environmentally friendly opening could be eco, such as in yesterday's ecotage. I think that was yesterday. Um, ecotage. I guess it's ecotage because it was a portmanteau of ecocide, uh, well, of eco and sabotage. So ecotage, I guess that was. Anyway, milk source, an udder maybe. What about this? Ways away, yeah, far. So maybe, maybe this is udder, as in a cow's udder. And then... A true warrior, like blank, shows his strength in hot water tea. Oh, that's very good. Chinese proverb. I like that a lot. Uh, the Big Easy by another name. New Orleans. Uh, N-O-L-A. Uh, NOLA. New Orleans for New Orleans, Louisiana. And three down. Dance section of a 33 across brass band parade. So dance section of a New Orleans brass band parade. Dance section. I'm not sure if that's referring to a piece of music or to a section of musicians offhand. Option for high temperature cooking. And you bought it, it's yours. No refunds, you might hear. So what is that? Does that help us here? Maybe the launch party is NASA after all. 
higher bet. Oh, an over, as in an over-under bet. Right, okay. There we go. This looks like avocado option. Oh, avocado oil, sure. Right. I would imagine avocado oil is has a high um, smoke point. So that looks reasonable. Oh, second, maybe? Then section... Oh, they are awesome. They rock. There we go. And then arc. Oh, chamber oriented so that those who face it also face Jerusalem. Right. So yes, this would be an arc in um, what that holds the Torah, I suppose. Um, okay. Like a tabernacle, I guess. So dance. So second, hmm. Introspective question. Do I, you might ask about yourself introspectively. And is the second line slightly burned, could be singed. There we go. And she used the force multiple times in The Last Jedi. I have to be honest, I don't particularly remember, but Leia must be a Star Wars character in four. Le oh, no, no, that makes sense. Right. I guess I sort of vaguely remember that. Okay. Cry to a horse. Giddy up. You might cry to a horse. And film technique for revealing a character's psychological state. Oh, um, I don't know. Some kind of a montage or maybe voiceover. What else would reveal a character's psychological state in a film? I don't know. Maybe some kind of screen effects, blurriness or something. I don't know. It depends what state you're trying to depict, I guess. Uh, if something, someone dresses in something, that person wears that thing. And a noun phrase that's present perfect indicative. Now that question mark makes me think it's not referring to present per perfect indicative in a sort of grammatical mood sense, but rather something about gifts, presents, maybe some present perfect indicative. I'm not sure though. I just think it's I just think it's a pun because of the question mark. Mutual aid. There we go. That's a phrase. And puffin for one, right? Okay. What about this wild ride? A party bus, maybe. There we go. And one hearts, two hearts, three hearts. Oh, bids. Is that in? Oh, right. This is that's in bridge, right? Contract bridge. You bid. Those are bids you could make. Boy, I've all, I I <laughs> um I learned to play friends. Learned, learned bridge from friends a couple of years ago, but it was just that one time that I've ever played it, so I don't really remember. Oh, adherence to the five case is a sick. There we go, and uh, puffin. For, so mem member of, of of that sort of religious tradition, and then a puffin for one is an auk, which which is a type of bird, and then a wish list is a noun phrase that's present perfect indicative because it indicates perfectly, I suppose, the presence you would like for Christmas, maybe, or something like that. Okay, they can be red or red. And hit HBO show whose main character worked at the nonprofit We Got Y'all. Ah, this I recognize. It is Issa Rae's uh, series Insecure, which I thought was great. Okay. Big blank, the moon and the stars, e.g., big ask. It's a big, a you're asking for the moon and the stars. It's a big ask. That sounds plausible. Content of some pads. You could have an ink pad for maybe inking stamps. They can be red or red. Probably ends in S. I can just put that in, I suspect. R lies? And then this doesn't seem right. I'm just going to look at the keyboard for a moment. Sorry. Red. Why can't I see what this is? Oh, lips, read my lips, or red lips, right? There we go. They can help you find your root. Maps, I suppose, can help you find your root. Atonement for a mistake. An apology that's too long. Um, actress Jenna of 2001's Donnie Darko. Oh boy, I don't know. I don't think I've seen that movie since shortly after it was released. Film technique for, right, revealing a character's psychological state. Oh, dream sequence. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's funny. Fantasy series and dream sequence are, I mean, those could be, those could be theme answers. I said this is where the theme answers go, but but they won't be there. But yeah, 
Oh, that's that's really cute. So, I mean, fantasy is akin to dream and series is akin to sequence. So if you imagine a fantasy series, another way to sort of, you know, maybe maybe allude to something would be a dream, a dream sequence, a dream sequence, a fantasy series. Yeah, that's very nice. It's just a nice little sort of, I don't know, pseudo theme going. Oh, and wish list. Oh, there's another one. Right. So these are sort of, if you could imagine yourself desiring things in your head, you could be creating a, a series of fantasies or a list, list of wishes or a sequence of dreams. Oh, that's very nice. Look at that. Okay. We had a little mini theme today. Part of LGBTQ plus would be queer for the, the Q bit. And baby cheetah is a cub to go in for is to, I'm not sure. Um, but, 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 atonement for a mistake. Why can't I see what that is? That's really annoying. Attraction for a bargain hunter. A something sale? A yard sale, maybe? There we go. Pennsylvania city or county. I'm not sure. Sunburn Sioux. There's aloe. There it is. The official medicinal plant of the New York Times crossroad. And in fact, I think it was just in the puzzle yesterday. And there was an interesting comment about it that I'll read after this puzzle. Tend to a Zen garden, say, is to rake. You could rake a Zen garden and produce those distinctive uh, raking patterns in the um, you know, the stones, for instance. Neutrogena competitor. Olay is another skincare brand. And big name in streaming. Oh, Roku produces sort of streaming um, box technology. And then Pennsylvania City or County. Oh, York. York County sounds familiar. And then Castle Fortress is a keep, the, the castle's keep. There we go, the... the most defended bit at the center. Okay, not drunk, question mark. So something punny is going on here. Oh, if something, if a, something, I don't know, comestible is, is not drunk, it could be eaten instead because maybe it's a liquid rather than a solid food. And Hindi or Hebrew, a tongue, a language. There we go. A stomach, if you stomach something, you endure it. So this looks like Jenna Malone, maybe. Is that someone? Empty, an empty nester, someone whose children have have left home. And then atonement for a mistake. Oh, amends, right. I made amends, atonement. And then this, your stomach could be your gut. And I think we saw that, the rest of these. So go in for, oh, I still don't see it. That's annoying. Big initials in sports theater. Don't quite think I know what that's referencing. Passwords and many factor factory warrior. Why can't I read this? Many factory workers carry them. User ID cards or um, some kind of cards, I would think. Not not user. That doesn't really make any sense. But what starts with you? You oh union cards. Yes, you could be a unionized factory worker, and you could be a card carrying member at that. Okay. So aprons could be wraps that have sauce on them. I don't think I would typically have referred to an apron as a wrap, but I think that that's what it's getting at, that it's an article of clothing. And maybe, maybe there are aprons that work more that way. Okay, so MLB, All-Star Anderson, not sure. Owl sound, owls make hoots, sort of stereotypically in English anyway. It's always fun seeing what, what sounds animals make in other languages. I don't know what sounds they're said to make. Luxurious and expensive could be... Not sure. Sportscaster Adams, who hosted Good Morning Football, do not know. Ritual pile. A funeral pyre, for instance. Doesn't have to be funeral, but that's an example of a ritual pile. Word with image or language. And popular beer informally. Oh, PBR for Pabst Blue Ribbon. And it sort of became the sort of incredibly... I don't know. I feel like almost ironically hip beer about a decade ago, maybe, maybe longer than that. I can't remember. Word with image or language. Body image or body language. There we go. A bit of trickery could be a ruse and a blended style of facial make makeup. Oh, uh, right. I have seen this before, but I can't think of the name. Oh, oh that's annoying. So, yeah, there's something I obviously, I mean, that, that's in there. Um, okay, what can we do to finish this off? Passwords, not something you know, pass. Oh, that's annoying. And go in for, oh, well, look at this. I'm running out of steam right at the end. How, how irritating. Um, 
luxurious and expensive. I mean, it looks like it could end in a Y, but that doesn't look right. I want to say this is smoky eye. How is owl sound not hoot? Oh, maybe it's no, it's who. Who, who, the owl says. Right, sorry. That was silly. Um, yeah, so, okay. That's what this is, I think. And then MLB All Star Anderson Tim, maybe? Not nothing you? Uh, not understanding this. Big initials in sports theater. Don't think I'm going to know that. Um, oh, oh, with the NK, this could be swank. That's very swank, you could say. So the big initials in sports theater, WWE, that's wrestling. So, okay. And to go in for, oh, oh, to go in for, to substitute for somebody. I was thinking go in for in the sense of enjoy it or kind of, um, you know, are, are taken in by it, for instance. Okay, that was wrong. Okay. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> a terrible end. It just really fell apart in this little corner over here. Don't really know why entirely. Uh, no thank you isn't particularly strange. I guess pass. it's just clued in a way that didn't put me on the um, onto it. But it's very good. It's a very good clue. I mean, you could say I pass. No thank you. Um, and then sub going for this was just this might have been intended. This was probably intended to be a, maybe just the tiniest bit of misdirection, but I, I made that much worse than it needed to be. I, I don't know what I was doing there. And then who, I will say who, of course they do. Um, don't know. Just just a bad ending. <laughs> Not sure what happened. Uh, but that was the puzzle. And I really loved this sort of, I don't know, crypto theme in here. Fantasy series, wish list, and dream sequence. That was really nice. Uh, so well done. Well, well placed by Brooke Husick and Eric Agard. It's, it's, it's nice when a themeless puzzle still has a kind of identity like that. I, I appreciate that. And now let's read a few clues. Well, read about a few clues from yesterday's puzzle, shall we? Uh, some of these were corrections and some of these were sort of observations. Oh, no, I just had two. Okay, well, I could have sworn there were more. Oh, no, there, there are more than two. Okay. So uh, Brian Parenti points out regarding pronunciation, the name I pronounced Mendeleev is pronounced Mendeleev. So thank you for that. And I should have probably inferred that from the two E's, which I did I did remember when I was spelling it, but uh, or the two consecutive E's, the three E's in total. Um, so thank you for that, Brian Parente, Mendeleev. And uh, Stephen Giblin explains that Strawberry Fields is a memorial to John Lennon, located in New York City's Central Park, underwritten by Yoko Ono. Add that to the list of things that I did, in fact, know and just completely couldn't bring to mind during the crossword. Absolute mind blank on that one. So thank you, Stephen Kiplin. I've, I mean, I've, I've been to Central Park many times and yet didn't didn't help me. Okay, Lucas Kemperman points out that AO, AOL and MSN were competitors in the instant messaging service space back during the first generation of instant messengers that also included ICQ and Yahoo back in the 90s. That's true. So I'd been thinking of them as former internet service provider competitors and wondering if they still were. And it, yes, of course, they were also competitors in instant messaging. Um, and that lasted quite a while, really, uh, until, I guess, until social media became so dominant that there was sort of no need for the for those dedicated services. And finally, Jim A. points out, Aloe, which I often refer to as the official, medic official medicinal plant of the New York Times crossword, ranks third as the most popular four-letter word used. I wouldn't have even, I would not have guessed it was that common. That's incredible to me. Area and eerie are number one and number two, respectively. Wow. Area seems reasonable. Eerie is so specific. It's not eerie as in the, the adjective eerie, as in uh, mysterious or, or spooky, but rather eerie as in the location or the lake. So that's, that's quite something. Um, so, right. Very interesting. Thank you for looking that up, Jim. Now I know I'm, I'm justified in referring to aloe in that manner. So <laughs> indeed the official medicinal plant, uh, and, and one of the, I don't know, official words, apparently more broadly. Anyway, there we have it. That's today's video. That's all I have for you. I'll be back tomorrow for the Saturday crossword, of course, another themed puzzle. We'll have to see if it contains a hidden theme. Probably not, but you never know. 
Uh, you'll have to find out. We'll solve that tomorrow. All right. Until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Uh-huh.